Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Raquel. If this is your first time clicking on my video, then welcome. Make sure you hit the subscribe button right down below so you don't miss another upload. I'm coming to you guys with my first empty product stash video, which I'm excited. I actually started this empty product stash probably like, I think it was midway through 2021 to be honest. It just happened that way. I was just like, dang, I could have been saving all this stuff. But so this is a mixture of hair care, body care, and skin care. All of this is together. So yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys some of the empty products that I've had throughout this year. What ones would I repurchase? Did I like them? Did I all the all the deeds? I'm giving you all the deeds. So let's get right into this video. So the first product I have is the Eden Body Works Natural Cleansing Co-Wash. First of all, if you have not heard of this product, where have you been? If you have not seen this product, where have you been? And since I was a whole brand ambassador for them last year, but um, y'all, I love this product. I mean, I've used this a long, long years ago. Then I use it again once I became a brand ambassador and I've actually have two full ones in my stash right now. Absolutely love this co-wash. I really don't use co-washes like that, but when I do, is this one that I'm grabbing. Definitely a repurchase. Ooh, the next one, this is from, this is Tora Moore Collections, her Peach Anato Refresher Spray. First of all, can I just say that this whole collection is bomb? This whole collection is bomb. If I were to rebuy anything from that collection, it would be this refresher spray, but I would definitely repurchase this. I feel like out of all refresher sprays, this would be the one that I really like. It was definitely moisturizing. It smelled amazing, but I actually love the way that this like reactivated product I already had in my hair. Like it didn't give me more buildup or anything like that. Like it just felt good in my hair. I didn't have to put more product. I could just spray my hair. If I styled it a few days ago, I could spray this. You know what I'm saying? Do a little quick sprays. You know what I'm saying? Put my twist back in and then it was like good as new. So definitely a repurchase. Okay, so the next brand I have is Brianna London. This is her aloe vera detangling juice. So I really did enjoy this aloe vera detangling juice. I feel like this is definitely for lazy naturals, which would be me. <laughs> Um, if you don't feel like cutting up aloe vera um, and doing all of that, like this was definitely a great product. I, w I don't know if I would repurchase it only because I use this as a pre-poo for me. Um, it was a really good pre-poo. It was perfect for when you were taking out protective styles. So I really enjoyed it for that just to get kind of like, you know, like kind of detangled before your hair got all crazy. But I'm not really sure if I would actually repurchase it only because there's so many different pre-poos that I would really use to do the same thing. It's a really good product, but I feel like there's so many options. I feel like this wouldn't be my top one to go to, but it is a really good product. Okay, so my next one is one of my faves. This is my TGIN Rose Water Leave-In Conditioner. This leave-in conditioner. I just wanna let you know I already repurchased it, so it's definitely a rebuy. I love this one. So I only tried the white, the white line she has. Um, but the rose water was definitely the best for my hair specifically, and I really, really love this leave-in. I could literally do a whole wash day, put this leave-in in my hair, and just keep it pushing and let my hair air dry, and my hair actually would keep all that moisture. So this is absolutely yes. All right, y'all, I had to put on some lights because the sun went down mad fast. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna move into skincare. So if you've been watching, you've seen this product before, and I absolutely love it. It's my favorite toner as of right now, and this is the Naked Flamingo Green Tea Clarifying and Balancing Toner. You know what I'm saying? It's barely a drop in there, sis. So barely, barely. This toner actually cleared up a lot of the texture I had on my skin. I believe I got this toner around March. It was definitely March, and I ran out of it. Pretty much when I came home from vacation, I would have ran out of it pretty much like August. So it says six months on it. I definitely used this whole thing probably about like four to five-ish months. Um, but I really, really enjoyed it. It definitely was not, um, if I can compare it, right now I'm using Thayer's and I don't really like the Thayer's because it's not strong enough for me. I feel like this had enough like mm, to really like get the bacteria, the rest of the stuff off my face. The one I'm using now is kind of more like... I don't know. It's just water. It, it doesn't feel like it's really doing anything, but this one felt really good. Um, I would definitely reorder this again, so whenever I see it, 
so right now their shop is like down or something but whenever I see this I will definitely pick this up again um another product that's from this brand is their dewy h2o hydration drops so I picked up these drops around the same time I picked up that toner um I honestly this is not completely empty but I pretty much used it's right here at the bottom I pretty much used pretty much all of it um it was okay this is I, I wouldn't repurchase this only because I think of the texture of my skin like if my skin was really dry all year round then maybe but I do think that ha it, it gave me a little bit of irritation and plus in the summertime my skin is too oily for me to add this so I would add it at first and then I realized that my skin would just be looking too shiny and I've been trying to add it now but I feel like my skin is just a little too dry or it's too irritated like it's too sensitive right now so yeah I mean it probably will work for somebody else but it's it just doesn't work for my skin my skin I have like combination skin but it's sensitive so it's just like ugh. so I wouldn't repurchase this another skin product I have is the Aveni Aveno positively radiant skin brighten and daily scrub I've honestly been using this for years I've this is probably like my fourth or fifth one I've rebought so yes I will rebuy this again I just feel like it's a good um a good scrub to use it's not harsh it's not like it doesn't have a bunch of fragrance um it doesn't irritate my skin like it's just pretty and it's a brightening scrub so just like over time it definitely helps out with the dark marks and all of that so yeah i would definitely repurchase this again this is kind of like this is like a staple product like mm, this is pretty good okay um i realized that i skipped one for hair the last one for hair would be this vineyard curl stimulating hair growth oil and marlowe as y'all can see i definitely messed up the label a long time ago but i really um enjoyed this oil what i purchased it again hmm, probably not um and honestly i'm getting out of like purchasing oils anyway but i do really love her concept of the wine inspired oils like that is what i just cannot get over i, I really really love that so um i really really love her branding and everything but i mean it's just a really it's a good oil it's a good lightweight oil it's not too it's not too heavy on your hair or your scalp um it's a good everyday use but i'm just like not into oils like that for me to really purchase this specific one all right so lastly is body care and i only have two products for this so i'm gonna go with the mna essentials this is her lemon sorbet luxe body scrub if y'all have not seen me use this then that means you don't follow me on ig um i'm not sure if i've used this in any other video probably a self-care video but this is bomb um i use this you ever have like a product that you use and then like you don't want to use it because it's that good this is that's what this is so ever since i got my first wax and then you have to um use a scrub you have to exfoliate and stuff so i was like oh i can use this because honestly this was like a good scrub but it was also a little bit gentle it has good um ingredients in it so i was like I'm about to use that, you know what I'm saying, on Miss Yoni down there. So I've used it and then I, 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 I used it all. I used it all. So that's what happened. So definitely got to re up on this. Definitely a repurchase, rebuy, all of that because this is, it feels so good. I just love the way it feels. It's like soft and then it's like it turns into oil. Like, oh God, it just makes your body just feel so amazing. So this is a definitely pick it up, y'all. And the last product is this Jergens Body Butter Collection. This is their eucalyptus mint. I picked this up a few months ago from Target. They have a few different types of scents. Um, and I liked it. To be honest, okay, I'm weird. I like body butters, but for some reason, I don't like digging in the jar. It's something about a jar that kind of, like, annoys me. Like, just, I just want to squeeze it in my hand or, like, pump it. Like, that's just me. Um... So when I saw it, I was like, oh, body butter and a little squeeze, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yes. So I really do like this. I love the smell. Um, I'm pretty sure I wouldn't say it's like the best body butter you ever had, but um, it's a really good body butter. I think it's pretty good. And it's very, it's not too expensive or anything. So I really like this. So I'm definitely going to pick up another scent. This is definitely a rebuy. Um, I want to try, I think, their Energized one, which is the orange next. So I'm definitely going to pick it up again and try another scent and see how it goes. And it's winter time, so it's about that time. I'm using some body butters. But yeah, definitely repurchase. So that is it, y'all. I just wanted to show y'all my empty 2021 products. Yeah, if you enjoyed this video, you want to see what more products I've been using, if I repurchase them or not, then let me know y'all know i got a whole hair sash okay and actually a good amount of them are repurchases so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video bye guys